Today, in many ways, in thought, emotion, even verbal purity is not there, it's called vakshuddhi, where a huge importance was given in this country as to what kind of sounds you utter and with what emotion you utter. You can manifest things in your life in the sense, if I say flower, the fragrance of flower becomes a living reality, actually it will happen. But those of you who are saying, shit, shit, <laughs> you're doing this to yourself, just know this. In your mind, in your words, the sounds that you utter and sounds that you hear and what kind of atmospheres you are create for yourself and everybody around you, all these things are important. Oh, where is all this? Nobody told me this. What words you utter, what words you hear, sounds, what type of sounds do you utter? It's very important. If you utter it rightly, like I said, if you say, flower, fragrance should come. Because sound has that much power if you know how to use it. When you're doing sadhana, it's important you eat something that doesn't stick into you, it must go. When it's done its job, not a speck of it should remain within you, it must be out. So how do you cleanse yourself? One simple thing is, at least twice a month, one day should go, twenty-four hour space must go without any ingestion of food, just water. This everybody here, our brahmacharis and many others here are doing this on every ekadashi day, that is the best day also to do that and twenty-four hours, that is today evening you eat and only next day you evening you eat. You only drink water. If you're feeling very tired or whatever initially, after some time it'll be okay. If you're doing enough sadhana, it'll not be a problem. Otherwise, if you're feeling tired, a little bit of one lemon you can squeeze into it, maybe a spoon of honey you can put into it, it'll keep you going. One, twice a month doing this, and doing the regular practices, whatever you're doing, uh, will ensure body is clean, but the simplest way to arrive at cleanliness is to be in a blissful state. To be… Hello? I'm not asking you to do anything difficult, I'm asking you to do the easiest thing and the most wonderful thing to do. So, uh, this is a simple way. Because there is today, we don't need any scientific evidence, today's lab… lab science evidence, but today there is also lab science evidence that when you're joyful, when you're pleasant in experience, how bodily functions happen, in what way it functions, how chemically it becomes very clean. Because human experience is rooted in… in many ways in your chemistry. So if your chemistry is not clean, if it is getting contaminated by what you generate within you, then initially it's a question of unhappiness, later on it's a question of ill health and all kinds of suffering is happening.